thanks for joining me today. I want to share with you how to make this spaghetti squash. I've had this around a while. They do last for a long time. However, I think I've kept mine too long. But I thought I'd go on and try and make it and we'll see what we get to. What I want to show you though is they're very hard. And so, see, I can't cut into that. I, I have cut into them, but I find it very dangerous. So I'm going to leave that on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fork and puncture this. And got my oven set to preheat at 400 degrees. Now, why do we want to make this spaghetti squash? Well, to start with, it's loaded with nutrients and it's tasty very few calories and it's a great substitute for a pasta or you might just like spaghetti squash which I do okay so that'll keep it from exploding we're gonna put this in our oven at 400 degrees and leave it in there for about 10 minutes bring it out and then try cutting it again okay oh by the way let me show you something I will be using my baking sheet with parchment paper. So I won't have a huge mess to clean up. Do it this way. But keep it in place, I've learned. Just spray tad bit of oil and that helps to hold it in place. There we go. So let's put this down and put it in the oven. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Now while our spaghetti squash is cooking, I want to prepare some other ingredients because we're going to make a garlic pasta with Parmesan cheese and it's going to be delicious. So let's prepare our Parmesan cheese. I've taken fresh Parmesan uh, and I'm going to grate it. Let's get this going. Now the next thing I want to do is prepare my garlic. I've taken three medium-sized cloves of garlic and I've peeled them and what I'm gonna do now is let's smash them and chop them the next thing I want to do is take my fresh parsley I got this from my garden but uh, take your parsley and I'm just going to take the leaves off. And I'm going to try and get about an eighth a cup of chopped parsley here. chopped nicely. Okay, now let's take our spaghetti squash out of the oven. And let's see if I can cut some of this bad part out. There we go. So I'm going to just make this as if it's my half. And you would be cutting yours in half, totally half. Now then, we want to 
This is still cool enough that we can touch it with our hands or we could use a spoon, but we wanna take the seeds out. And I found if I throw it in my compost pile, I grow spaghetti squash, it's pretty cool. So you do that on both of your halves. Since I only have a piece of my half, I wanna do it on that. I want to spray my spaghetti squash with oil and then turn it face down. A little rough there too, but I think it's fine. Spray that with oil. Okay, let's put it back in the oven for about 30 minutes. Okay, now I checked my squash about 20 minutes in because we'd already put it in for 10 minutes and it is al dente, which is what I want it to be. And so I've brought it out and we will let it cool for a few minutes so we can handle it. And turn this one over. What we're doing is both over. Let that steam out of there, let that start cooling. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fork and just twist it like so. Empty that into our bowl. Look at that spaghetti just come out of there. Isn't that great? And you can go all the way down to the rind on that. And just one small spaghetti squash looks so much. Now let's go with this one. Turn to see if I see. I'm just taking my fork and going down and pulling her away from the sides and I get those strings of spaghetti. Isn't that great? Yes, they do. Much better. Look how much I'm getting out of this and I didn't even have a whole one. And this was a small spaghetti squash. Usually they're huge. It freezes well also, so if you feel like you have too much for who you're gonna serve, know that it works fine to freeze it. Now what we wanna do is take our skillet, heat it up, put about a tablespoon of oil in the skillet. This is really a very easy meal and so healthy, full of nutrition. Now I'm gonna take that garlic that we chopped earlier and let's just put it in here and let it slowly release its flavors. We don't want it really browned. We want it to release its flavors. This garlic parmesan spaghetti squash is so good and so healthy. You're gonna be wanting to eat this at least once a week. And since it makes so much, you could freeze it and have it for next week also. Now let's add our squash. it around in that garlic. Garlic flavoring throughout our squash. And now let's add our Parmesan cheese. I didn't need all that I made. And toss that around. Add our parsley. And that's about a fourth a cup, eighth a cup. And let's toss that around. Now, if you'd like, you could season it with a little freshly ground pepper. And some salt. And there you have it. Let's plate this up. Doesn't it look good? Mm, yummy. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. I love the garlic and Parmesan. It is very similar to eating a Parmesan garlic pasta. You really have to give this a try. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. You come back for other videos. And also subscribe and give me a thumbs up for a like. I thank you so much for watching. Bye now. Thank you.